In this video, we will look at how to change or how to style our HTML table, this boring HTML table from this to that. And you can see how this table look far better than the previous boring table. And in this video, we will set the, uh, the alternating colors, we're gonna give it a shadow and the title will be centered. And without wasting too much time, we've pasted all the codes in appcoms.com so you can go and copy and paste it without wasting much time and this will be done in just three simple steps step number one open computer list html page and add a class to the h1 tag and the class will be called title so move to subline and open computer list html page and scroll down we have h1 tag the title tag you give it a class and the class will be called title. You can give it any class that you want or any name that you want. And I'm gonna call mine title. And step number two, open stylesheet.css where we will go and start um, customizing the page or the table uh, to have the colors and to rearrange how the text will be aligned and so on. And here you will see, we will um, align the title that we just class the class that we just added the title we're gonna align it center the class of the h1 or the class of the title we call it title and because this class i'm gonna um type period and then type the name of the class then open the bracket and type text align center save it and then go to the page and refresh you can see now the title has moved to the center of the page and the next is to style the table we're gonna set the size of the table to be 95% of the page and the margin auto we will, will um, automatically adjust the table to appear at the center of uh, the page and we're gonna center align the text or that's the text itself that's inside the table and we're gonna give it uh, a shadow and I will explain that shortly then uh, the font size will be set to 15 Let's copy the code and then paste it in stylesheet.css. Paste it right here. Delete that numbers. Okay, so here, like what I was explaining, I'm gonna take out that and leave the size to be 15. The table will be styled that way and we're gonna make alternating colors. And to make an alternating color, you're gonna um, style the odd colors separately and style the even colors separately for the table rules and that's how you do, do it so i'm gonna save that and go to the table and refresh it you can see how the table just transform and be become really beautiful eye touching and and etc etc now for the for the shadow the false value here is for the horizontal shadow movement and if you give it a negative number like if i give it a negative 12 and save it and refresh it you can see that the, the shadow moved left and if i give it a positive number the shadow moved right okay and the next one is the up and down movement the uh, the vertical um shadow a, a negative number will take it up and a positive number will make the shadow appear at the bottom of the table and the next one is how broad do you want this table to be and, and how much do you want this shadow to spread example if i give this a lower number you can see how thick the color will look if i give it number one and refresh you can see it's really thick it doesn't look like shadow it looks like a box on the uh, on top of another box and if i give it a higher number like 12 it's gonna have uh, a much blur rate Okay, so the last one will be how spread do you want this to be? If I give it a higher number, you can see it will be really spread all around the table. You can see how spread it is. So I'm gonna leave that to 20. So I'm gonna leave that to 12. And then you can see what suits your, your design. And the last value here will be the color. And the color I choose will give it a little bit of bluish color, the color of the shadow. Okay, and that's how simple it is to make the table look like this. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Otherwise, let's keep going.